My crew consists of my dad. My dad's been with me since I was, you know, three years old. He's gotten every race with me pretty much. Um, he's actually not here today, but he's here, you know, pretty much 24/7 with me wherever I go. Uh, my practice bike mechanic, uh, Brandon, he's with me. Um, you know, when I'm out in California, my, my race mechanic, Brett, I see him regularly. Um, Eldon Baker, my trainer, RV, you know, Ryan, Bill Poto, uh, Ken Roxon, obviously he trains with Eldon too. So, um, Chris Clark races AMA Superbike, he trains with Eldon. And that's kind of, that's really kind of the, my friends really, is the guy I train with. You know, you, this sport kind of consumes your life in every aspect of it. And it's hard to kind of have friends outside of it because you never really have time for them you know so they got to be you know with you and doing the same activities you are so I think the guys that I train with are definitely the ones I'm, I'm closest with for sure. My hobbies other than motorcycles it's it's kind of weird because it's a, a form of cross training but I really enjoy mountain biking and road biking obviously working with Eldon Baker it's incorporated a lot into my training program but um, I, I enjoy it a lot, especially with a you know a good group of guys. You can have a blast and kind of get a good workout in at the same time. So I enjoy mountain biking, road biking. Uh, I do a little bit of fishing every now and again, but uh, yeah, mainly just uh, mountain bike. Oh, definitely. I mean, that guy is that guy's unbelievable, Eldon, when it comes to you know you know workouts and all that stuff. It, like road bike rides, we'll we'll go off. He says, oh. This is going to be a light spin you know we're just spinning it out he would say you know just a recovery ride and you know you're like 35 minutes in you look down your heart rate's at 175 and you're like dude this is not a recovery spin yeah it is what, what are you talking about he looks at his heart rate it's like you know 105 it's it's stupid some of the stuff but obviously everything has a purpose and he knows how to you know bring the most out of you and in situations like that when we know when he knows that we're not going to like the answer when he says it's going to be gnarly he'll he'll throw us a bone and uh you know maybe fib a little bit maybe lie a little bit to you know bring the best out of us uh, my expectations for supercross is to be on the podium i want to be on the podium um you know week in and week out i want to be consistent um, obviously I'm a rookie and rookies are prone to mistakes I'm told but I don't want you know I don't want to make those rookie mistakes I want to you know try to be smart and learn as much as I can but definitely want to be in the championship hunt and I believe with you know the program I have and um, how I'm feeling at the practice track and you know the guys I'm around and how I am compared to them I believe that I can be um, I believe that's a realistic goal for me to be on the podium and you know hopefully battling up there for race wins you know obviously a lot depends on the start the field's going to be stacked and if you can you know kind of get a head start on them and stay up there it's going to be a lot easier but yeah uh hopefully um i think you know i think i can end up on the box